In this next video, we talk about the sum function. It's just some function. Oh, I couldn't resist. Okay, here we go. Let me just uh, pull out this handy little script that I have. We're going to kind of do this incrementally. We're just going to show things and then sort of build on them. It'll go by pretty quickly, but I wanted to show you not just how it works, you know, it by itself, but you really have to incorporate it with a few other things in order for it to really be tremendously useful. So if you just bear with me for a minute, the first thing I want to do is just show you um, our employee table. These are all like fake people. And what we're going to be doing is trying to figure out the sum of all the salaries, you know, that kind of thing. So here's all these people, you know, they work in different departments. It's how long they've been with the company and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that we probably don't care about. But anyway, so we've got a first name, a last name, a salary, a department. You get it. Okay. Well, here's the first thing that we could do. Uh, we could go down here and, you know, there's no reason why we need to show that anymore. So let's come down here and let's, uh, let's do the sum of all salaries for all employees. First of all, we're just going to do, we're going to select the EM salary field instead of doing a select star. And we're going to name that field salaries because if we just name, if we just do sum EM salary without naming it, it comes back and it just doesn't have a name. That's okay here. But not if you're returning a record set to say VB or C sharp. Sometimes, you know, Microsoft gets upset at that. So anyhow, put a name, get in the habit. Don't use keywords. Here we go. Now, so it looks like, you know, we're paying a total salary every year of 2.3 million. Okay, again, this is fantasy. Um, but that doesn't really give us any helpful information because, you know, maybe part of the reason that we're doing this, maybe it's for taxes, maybe it's for this, maybe it's for that. Or maybe we're looking to kind of get rid of some of those salaries. Well, let's do this. Let's see how much we're paying per salary from each department. And in this case, since we're only pulling from one table, we just have the department key. So it doesn't really tell us much about the department, you know. Um, but at least we know, here's the breakdown. There's one, uh, there's one group that gets 38,000, another that gets 84. One of them that makes over a million, it's probably the sales guys almost 800,000 that's got to be the programmers and you know then it drops off so this is a little more helpful it kind of breaks it out for us um, because we're grouping it by the department but you see that it doesn't really tell us what department so we really need to make this yet more useful so let's do this let's uh, let's add the department key just for hahas we don't know what department key traces to what um, you know department, what the programmers know, but it's usually the managers, you know, and the big bosses that are looking at this kind of stuff to begin with. Uh, so we know that, okay, there's um, one department where there's no department. Somebody's making $38,000. They're not even in a department. It's probably that guy from Office Space that there was a glitch and they put him in the basement. You know, right, stapler guy, him. But anyway, so department one, 84 grand. Department two, 56. Can't do a lot of those. Department three, you know, 1.2 million. I wonder how many people are in that department. Because again, it would, if that's one person, wow. If that's 100 people, wow, wow. So we still don't really have enough information. This is better by far than saying we're paying $2 million in salary. At least we have some breakdowns. We know that one department is this and one department, you know, we could just write a check for that. But this, we got to go mine some gold to pay these guys or have a tag sale. Well, Let's try to make this even more meaningful. Let's do this. Let's open up the department table just to kind of see what that looks like, just for ha-has. Oh, okay, so we have an accounting department, you know. That's probably who's running all this stuff. There's an HR department, which probably asked them to run it. There's a sales department that just doesn't care. There's an IT department, which could care less even than the sales guys. These are probably the two groups most likely to hang out, believe it or not. Wait a minute. The sales guys can't talk to the IT people. Again, you know, I'm alluding to office space. And then there's management, you know, okay. So those are the different departments. So let's see what's happening here. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this. And let me explain this next query, because this next query, yes, we're using some, but it's making what we're doing meaningful so that this information can have all the different components of at least, you know, a very dumbed down report so that it makes sense. From the department table, we're going to be taking the description, meaning, you know, is it the accounting department? Is it human resources? If you say HR, somebody from another country might not know that that's what we call human resources. 
believe it or not. Somebody sees IT, they might just think it's IT. Oh, that's the IT department, Adam's family. Anyway, what we're going to be doing in this next query, we're going to show the department one time. We're going to give a count of how many employees. We're just doing a count on the key field because it's, it's, um, uh, it's, it's unique. So that, that'll work, you know, uh, that'll work. And then a sum of all the salaries in that department. So what we get to do is, you know, we'll see how many employees there are and what the total salary is for those. Now we could do an average. We're just not going to do that because average has his own video. This is sum. Okay. So we're going to be doing it from the employee table and the department table. And the employee table happens to have a DP key, just like the department has a DP key. This is the primary key on the department table, but it's a foreign key for these guys. Hence, we can join them. Now, you remember before, there was one guy that was not in a department, stapler guy. He will not show up in here because we're doing an inner join. We could do a left join, but left join has his own video. Not here. Okay, so then we're, we're going to do very important. We're going to do group by DP key. We have to do a group by description or it won't come through because right now count of the EM key and the sum of the salary are fine, but description, if you're doing a group by and there's no aggregate function, it has to appear here. It, it won't change anything. It, it won't really make any difference because we're going to be grouping by this and then we're going to be ordering and you'll see how it works. This now will have all the components with this information so that it's much more useful. Bam. Well, we see that the sales department has 1.2 million in salaries, and there's two of them. Salary is a bad word because they're probably on commission and they're probably earning every bit of that, and nothing helps morale more than just cutting their commissions for no reason. So really, unfortunately, you probably can't get rid of this. Now, IT people, four people making that, that's probably a little high. You know, but who do you fire, the good guy, you know? Uh, management, there's one guy making 150. We could probably get him to take 125, you know. Of course, he would be the person being in charge of that, so I don't know how that would work. Accounting, one person making 84,000. HR, one person making 56. In real life, there would probably be several people in each of these departments, and you could whittle it down if you had to. But really, the best thing to do might be either, you know, sell off some of your assets or, oh, I don't know, you know, um, sell out more stock or... Oh, I don't know, raise your prices, something. But at least you can have some fun with it. But anyway, so this is really how the sum function has teeth. You know, if you're doing it along with a count, maybe a join, you're having a group buy and an order buy, then you can make sense of it. Instead of $2 million in our company, this tells you which department, how much, and how many people, and it even shows where you're spending most of your money. So I hope that was helpful.